Always All right, let's get to it. First question comes from Nathaniel Kosher. Nathaniel asks, what are the odds of Elvis Andrus making the opening day roster? Jesse, mm. talk to us about our newest member of the Arizona Diamondbacks. I think Elvis Andrus belongs in kind of the Evan Longoria category of player for me, where, where he's had a, a extended and very impressive major league career. Like, not quite a Hall of Famer, but the guy has 2,000 hits. I think he's like the active hits leader or something like that. <laughs> That's um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you look at his 2023 numbers with the Chicago White Sox, 251, 304, 358 was his slash line. Uh, he's still 12 bases, which is which is pretty impressive to me now at 35 years old. Um, Us old guys can get it done. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't I, think, I guess, don't, I guess so. don't get it twisted. Us old guys can get it done. I, I'm, I'm impressed. But uh, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, he certainly has plenty of shortstop experience. No no shortage of shortstop experience for Elvis Andrews. Last year, he kind of split time at shortstop and second base. But his defensive metrics in short were, were still pretty decent. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't have him in my uh, opening day uh, no. roster projection yesterday. I, I updated nope. it after the move. But I was I was tempted to. Like, I I think it is – I would not at all be surprised to see Elvis Andrews make the opening day roster as the backup shortstop. I'm going to need to see him in games. I'm going to need to see a little bit more before I, you know, make a, a final push in that direction. But – I mean, the Diamondbacks clearly made this move because they want another option in this backup shortstop race. And on paper, I think his case is as compelling as anyone else's. He, he's the vet that they have essentially going for this, which they don't really have a veteran infielder right now that's kind of fighting for the job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Kevin Newman's been been around for a little while, but yeah, not nearly as long as uh, as Elvis Andrews. That's, that's yeah. for sure. All right. Well, here's what Tori had to say about the new addition to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um... To be honest with you, it, just, it crossed my plate a couple days ago, and when I was asked, I just thought he was a um, a very good player who's done it at a high level, and he's still some of the metrics and, and numbers that, that were looked at still says he's he can he's playing at that high level. Jeff Bannister had a history with him um, with Texas. He's he's been in the big the big on the big stage at the biggest moments, and he's performed. And we're always looking to upgrade it in every position. And he's played a very good shortstop. So there, it's clear that he's here to, to go and show us what he could do at shortstop and second base. But we're just excited about the guy um, who happens to be a really good baseball player. I know the knowledge doesn't happen through osmosis, right? It's not like you stick the veteran in the middle of all of the young, talented, athletic guys and it just leaks into them. But, sure. I mean, there's something to be said about like the knowledge passed on. I mean, we've even heard it from like Slade who was talking about Merrill Kelly showing him the grip. We've heard this from other guys that have said like being around Tommy Pham and being around Evan Longoria were was a big help to them, right? And not just when it came to card collecting. So I think there's something to be said about the experience um, that that he can bring. But yeah, I, I know we're going to talk about it. But Tim in the chat says we want Blaze Alexander, and I think with the way Blaze has been playing, he definitely makes a compelling case for you know, for, for that backup role. The, yeah. The case for, for blaze is, is compelling. No doubt. We talked a lot about him on the show last week. The, the main hangup I think with blaze Alexander is are the diamondbacks willing to put him in a role in the majors where he's not playing every day. They, it's pretty clear that they're not willing to do that with Jordan Lawler. They want him to play every day. And from what I've heard, it sounds like they have a pretty similar view on blaze Alexander, yeah. that they want him to play every day as well. I don't, personally agree with that decision necessarily if that's indeed kind of how they're how they're viewing things i think at this point blaze is kind of shown what he's going to show in triple a and he's had a great spring and he's a good defender and i i think he's you know if you're just asking me like who would be the best option for the diamondbacks in terms of like how i would expect them to perform blaze alexander is is maybe at the top of that list yeah. he's just in a role where he's facing lefties and you know backing up at some various infield positions i i like what he could bring there but if the d-backs want him to play every day it's probably not going to be blaze alexander this is a blaze Ale alexander stand cast just to let you guys know that <laughs> we are big fans of blaze alexander and think that he is going to be a very good major league baseball player i think that's the that's the feeling with him where like jesse says i don't necessarily agree with leaving him in triple a either because what what are we doing anymore? I mean, he's it feels like he's been there forever. It feels like he's been in the system forever. And at this point, he's playing at a level that looks like he's ready to make that leap to the major leagues. And I think that what I fear is that 
he is becoming too much of an asset, but they're not going to utilize him. So then he becomes part of some trade. And then <laughs> again, I, I keep talking about this. It's, it's, you know, over and over, but we're going to see him just rake somewhere else. And it's going to be infuriating. He's going to become like this. It's going to become like jazz. I mean, just blaze Alexander, just the name blaze Alexander is like jazz Chisholm. It's just one of those names. You know, it's going to be a huge superstar.